It is so good to be back in glorious Annecy, my favorite Alpine city. The stunning lake of Annecy, the third largest lake in France, is nestled in the mountains at an altitude of almost 500 meters. The Auberge du Perbis on the lake side of the town of Talloir first opened as a hotel restaurant in 1903 and has been for most of its existence an amazing gourmet destination. Jean Sulpice, one of the most admired young French chefs, took over this charming hotel restaurant in 2017. Cette maison incarne un, un passé gastronomique euh, riche et fort et aujourd'hui ma cuisine évolue dans cet environnement euh, avec le respect de la tradition de la cuisine française tout en portant ma philosophie et mon côté un peu dynamique, mon côté euh, de ma génération à moi, une cuisine euh, plus créative et cette maison m'aide à, à exprimer, à continuer d'exprimer ma, ma passion de, de cuisine. It is lunchtime and the kitchen brigade is buzzing with energy. A waitress presents an impressive loaf of bread. It is soon evident that Jean loves to use many wild alpine herbs. A dish of Poland tanioki with stratex is out of this world. An elegant vegetarian dish of baby vegetables looks appetizing. Jean serves local yabis with an aromatic broth and lemon bulb. The spectacular dish of young lamb roasted and smoked with wild air is simply brilliant. I can't take my eyes off the wonderful alpine cheese platter. Oh, I wish I could spend more time on the side of this glorious lake, being inspired by this unique chef. This Siabi bisque soup is very popular in restaurants around alpine lakes. I first eat some olive oil in a cast iron pan and stir in some cooked yabi heads and shells for a few minutes before adding a chopped shallot, some diced fennel, sprig of thyme and a bay leaf. I add a little tomato paste and plain flour and stir well for about a minute. Next, I stir in some diced tomatoes, some cognac, some white wine and fish stock and simmer for about 20 minutes. The broth is infused with the robust flavor of the yabi shells. It's called a bisque. I stir in a little cream and cayenne pepper and simmer for five minutes before straining it and pressing the shells. I reheat some cooked yabi tails in the soup and season with a little salt, pepper, garlic, and lemon juice. I pour a little bisque in each bowl and garnish each with five yabis. Just before serving, I sprinkle with some finely cut chives. This bisque de crevis is a never-aging French classic. Philippe Rigolo's pâtisserie in Annecy is one of France's finest. In the kitchen, the pâtissiers are putting the final touch to delicious-looking gâteaux. French pâtisserie is enjoying a wonderful evolution and revolution. For the summer dessert collection, Philippe created the strawberry and rhubarb burger. It's hard to make a choice. Tomorrow I'm still in the Alps to discover some great cheese.